Today we will be discussing the classification of matter. So matter is everything that has mass and volume. And the mass is the amount of matter that the object actually contains, whereas the volume is the amount of space that an object takes up. So if you have mass and you take up space, you matter. So matter can be split into a couple different categories. You can either be what is known as a pure substance or a mixture. We're going to explore pure substances first. Pure substances are going to be made up of one kind of particle exclusively. And mixtures are going to be made up of two or more types of particles. Like I said, we're going to be exploring pure substances first and they can be split into a couple of different options. You can either be an element or a compound if you are a pure substance. Elements are going to be made up of one type of atom, which cannot be broken down into anything more simple. Whereas a compound is going to be made up of two or more types of elements and it can be broken down into a simpler substance using chemical processes. Examples of elements are things that you are going to find on a periodic table. So if you can find it on the periodic table, it is an element, it is a pure substance. Examples include, but are not limited to, iron, gold, calcium, lead, and helium. Examples of compounds, remember that these are going to be Multiple elements bonded together chemically could be water or dihydrogen monoxide, two hydrogens, one oxygen, sugar or glucose, uh, C6H12O6, where we have six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens bonded together. Or we have table salt or sodium chloride, NaCl. All of these are going to be compounds. They are multiple elements bonded together chemically to make a new product. So that's what a compound is. We have multiple elements. Now we can explore mixtures. There are multiple types of mixtures. The two main type are, types are going to be homogeneous mixtures or homogeneous. You will probably have heard the word homogeneous in reference to milk. So homogenized milk uh, basically means that my milk is going to look the same throughout. Homo means same. In homosexuality you have two people of the same gender that are attracted to each other. Whereas my opposite is going to be heterogeneous or heterogeneous, and that is going to look different throughout. Hetero means different. So in heterosexuality, you have uh, people of two different genders that are attracted to each other. With homogeneous mixtures, we have a couple of examples. Like I already said, we had homogenized milk as one example. That's why you don't have to shake the milk in order for it to not be uh, chunky. Milk used to be chunky which uh, is now a sign that the milk has gone bad, but originally was just how milk was. Um, but we don't have milk like that anymore. We have homogenized milk. We also have the example of salt water, air. Air is a homogeneous mixture. You can't see the nitrogen versus the oxygen versus the carbon dioxide, etc. Since you cannot see the difference with your eyes, it is homogeneous. We also have vinegar, which is acetic acid diluted into water. Since you cannot see the acetic acid particles versus the water particles, it is a homogeneous mixture, otherwise known as a solution. We also have uh, some examples of a heterogeneous mixture. Remember that these are going to look different throughout. So sand, you can tell the difference between the sand particles. Some look darker, some look lighter. You can see the difference in their shape. Since they do not look the exact same throughout, it is a heterogeneous mixture. So is soil or pizza, salad. 
Lots of things, if you can see the individual pieces, are going to be a heterogeneous mixture. We're going to go into just a little bit more detail about solutions, some words that are important for when we make solutions. So the first word that we are going to look at is the word salute. The word salute is going to be in reference to a solution, whatever you have less of. This is typically, but not always, the thing that is solid and will normally, but not always, be measured in a mass quantity. So something like grams. It is whatever is going to be getting dissolved. So in the example of the homogeneous mixture, we had salt water. So the salt is the solute because it was the solid and it was what I had less of. If I have more salt than water, it will not dissolve. Okay, well the solute is what we have less of. My solvent is what I have more of. My solvent is going to be what is actually doing the dissolving. It is generally a liquid and will generally be given in uh, units that reflect volume, such as milliliters or liters. The way that I remember that solute is what I have less of is I actually count the number of letters in the words solute and solvent. So solute has six letters and solvent has seven. So solute is literally smaller than my solvent and that's how I personally memorized solute versus solvent.